previously on Freight Sites in your neighborhood. Wally, we've been driving around all morning. I don't see the university anywhere. Hey! Entrance to the University is right in front of you. Are you slow? And Laura? Jamie, look! There's the entrance to the IUP building right in front of us. I've been looking for you. You're that ghost guy, aren't you? Yeah. You're late. You need me to Studio A right now. Go! My name is Wally. How you doing? What's your name? My name is Gail. Nice to meet you, Nice Gail. to meet you. Um, could you tell me about the ghost experiences that you witnessed at IUP? Yes, it was in the building on campus called Breezedale. Uh, we had one of our students who uh, worked in Breezedale who uh, told me about his experience. He said that he had gone down the back steps and he was going down to get something and there was this man on the steps on the stairway. He was in a uh, beige suit and he looked like he was looking for something and Joe passed him and then he turned around. He was going to help him and ask him what he wanted and he was gone. Hi, I'm Jamie DeFlipper. What's your name? Dr. Lola Black. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Jamie. So I hear you, uh, you're a member of the Paranormal Society of IUP? Yes, I'm the advisor. It's a student organization that just started this semester. We had included in our group this evening my daughter, who's 13, and has had a long experience wandering through Keith um, and seems somewhat sensitive to some of the child ghosts. There appear to be quite a few child ghosts in Keith. One team had reported hearing a sound of laughter at one point. Uh, we had a feeling, cobweb feeling in room 130 that just seemed unexplainable because sometimes people were standing still when they felt it all of a sudden. Also, whenever I was walking down the hallway with Dr. Black's daughter, it felt like someone was like, holding my hand because her daughter told me to hold my hand out and I was like, okay. And it, it just felt like that cobwebby feeling. It's okay, gentlemen. Come on in. I was wondering, is there any way possible you could help us open this treasure chest? Wally, Wally, these are music chords to a song. If I'm reading this right, then all we have to do is play these music chords in the proper sequence, and the treasure chest will open. Nothing can stop us now. Go ahead and play these chords. I am the macabre Spectre, and you will be destroyed. <laughs> Yeah.